Hey, what's going on guys? I am John from JFM Development, and today we're making a lemon pound cake. So let's get right into it. So guys, today I want to make a lemon pound cake. Now, it took me a while to decide what I want to do today because at first I really wanted to do a vape mail video. But I ran into a little small issue. The issue is, I have them all right here because I just checked to make sure I had them all and they all came in, the ones I ordered. But the problem is, is there's like almost 60 flavors here. So that's going to be a very long video. So I'm not sure if I should do a live stream for that or if I should just make a longer video and try to cut some out. Let me know what you guys think about that down in the description. So for today, I'm going to be making a lemon pound cake. This is uh, one of the variations I've been working on for a little bit. I am satisfied with it and I really like it and I felt like why not share it with you guys. So first let me tell you about what I'm vaping on. Right now I'm vaping on my RX300 with my Troll, I'm sorry, my Goon RDA. And I am vaping Strawberry Fog. I made like a whole bunch of it the other day. <laughs> Very good stuff, but let's talk about what we're making today. We're making the lemon pound cake, which is in this right now. This is the RX23 with the Troll version 2 RDA, and this is the lemon pound cake. And I made it a little bit different than I, I made pound cakes before. This time I put some custard in it. You know what? Let me go over the flavors and we'll talk about exactly what's in it. So the first flavor I'm using uh, for the lemon pound cake is Flavor West Yellow Cake. Okay, that's going to build up the cake. Followed up by Capella Vanilla Cupcake to assist with the yellow cake to make the pound cake flavor. Followed by Flavor Art Meringue to kind of give like a sugary uh, coated mouthfeel. Next up. Flavor Art Tyrone. Uh, Flavor Art Tyrone and Flavor Art Meringue work very well together, especially in bakeries, I've learned. Now I'm using Flavor West Buttercream here to kind of like give a little bit of butter without using butter. Followed by Pella Lemon Sicily, and that's for the lemon, in conjunction with Flavor West Lemon Meringue Pie. Next up is going to be Flavor Art Custard, as I said. I'm using a custard because it has like lemony notes and it's going to create a nice velvety mouthfeel, which it does. It's really good. Also, I am putting in Capella Yellow Cake. I put in Capella Yellow Cake because I just wanted to see what it would do with Capella Yellow Cake and Flavor Art West Yellow Cake together and I was very surprised it actually came out very good now is it necessary probably not but I thought it was cool so if you don't have both use one or the other next up is Loran's cream cheese icing and that's self-explanatory too followed up by optional sweetener now sweetener I'm going to probably put in at one percent but that's completely up to you I know the drawbacks of using sweetener but I like to vape sweet juices so now this recipe is one with a lot of ingredients in it and if you're newer to DIY don't worry I'm going to start putting some mixes with just a few ingredients in them uh, because my mixes seem to be like really complicated for a lot of people or they don't have flavors I kind of want to cater to everybody so I'm going to have some more beginner friendly stuff on this channel at least a couple times a week and then I'll do the more advanced stuff with the other days in the week because I, I I don't want anybody to feel left out or confused plus I want to redo my tutorials but that's on another note for another video so let's mix this bad boy up and we'll go over the percentage we'll go over the percentages and I will leave the recipe on the screen today I think we can do that. all right so let's turn it on get a beep All right, so we're ready to go. First ingredient we're using is the Flavor West Yellow Cake. We're using this at 
So that's going to be 1.02 grams. This stuff is so good. But the thing with Flavor West Yellow Cake is there is corn syrup in it or high fructose syrup or one of the two in it. And it is controversial if it's actually okay to vape. But I really love this flavor and there's no like dead proof that it's bad for you. So I'm going to continue to use it. Now, what I suggest if you're new into DIY is you research the flavors you're using and research articles about it. And if it's something that's okay with you, which is definitely better than cigarettes, then it's a win. At least that's how I look at it. If the flavor is good enough. Now, if there's a, like say a diacetyl free uh, flavor or whatever, and it, it tastes fine, then yeah, sure, I'll sub it out. But if it doesn't taste as good as the one with diacetyl, until there's like proof staring me in the face telling me it's bad, then I'll switch. Okay, followed up by Capella Vanilla Cupcake. That's at 2% or 0 0.68 grams. Here we go. Pella Vanilla Cupcakes in, followed by Flavor Art Meringue. And we're using that at 1%, just a little bit. Just gives it that mouthfeel and that little bit of powdered sugar note in there. 0.34 grams. Let me know also if you like the dead end uh, camera view. I changed the camera so it would be straight in front and that way I can mix easier. Let me know if you like that better or if you the, the camera that's right here kind of like is a problem, I guess. I mean, I don't think it's a big deal. I think it looks a lot better that way, but I'd like to see what you guys think. All right, followed up by F.A. Tyrone. F.A. Tyrone is in at half a percent or 0.17 grams. Okay, there we go. Okay, Tyrone's in. Let me tear that out. Followed by Flavor West Buttercream. And Flavor West Buttercream is in at 1% or 0.34 grams. Okay, Flavor West Buttercream is in, followed by Capella Lemon Sicily. Capella Lemon Sicily is in at 2% or 0 0.68 grams. We ran out of Lemon Sicily. I'll be right back and I'll go grab some. We're back and I got the Italian Lemon Sicily. So we just still need 0.68. So right now we got 0.35. There we go. Lemon Sicily is in. I'm going to tear that out. Followed by Flavor West Lemon Meringue Pie. And Flavor West Lemon Meringue Pie is in at 3%. This flavor is really good if you like lemon. Is it as good as Capella's? Eh, I don't know. If, you, if you're really into lemon, then I, I like this one over Capella. But you have to really like lemon a lot. So, Lemon Meringue Pie by Flavor West is in at 3% or 1.02 grams. Okay, there we go. Lemon meringue pie is in. Tear that out. Next up is Flavor Art Custard. Ever since I got this one, I really fell in love with it. It's a really nice custard. Again, if you like lemon. I mean, you have to really be a lemon fan to like this one because there's a lemon note in it. All right, so F.A. Custard is in at 3% or 1.02 grams.
Not only is this going to give it a more of a lemon note, but it's going to like thicken it up and give it a nice mouthfeel. Followed by Capella Yellow Cake. And Capella Yellow Cake is in at 1% or 0.34 grams. Go. Capella Yellow Cake is in. Followed by Loran's Cream Cheese Icing. Get it out. Uh, this one's another good one to have. I'm going to compile a list of good all-around flavors for when you're first starting. Because I know for a fact that you could probably get started for under 30 bucks instead of spending like 60 bucks or whatever for one of those starter kits. Because there's some essential flavors. Kind of like how I was showing you with uh, the Strawberry Fog video. That all those flavors in that particular recipe are all flavors that are good and will last you a while. You get lots of use out of them. I kind of want to make one that has like just a well thought out list. All right, so cream cheese icing at one percent is point three four grams. There we go. Cream cheese icing is in. Now it's time for the sweetener. And you know what? I was going to do 1%, but I'm going to do 2%. But again, this is optional. You don't have to use it if you don't want it. I like sweet juices. That's just how I vape. All right. So this is going to be in at 2%. So it's going to be 0.68 grand. Today I'm using TFA sweetener instead of super sweet. Because I'm kind of wanting that maltol to kind of help those uh, lemons shine a little bit. This TFA is a little bit sucralose and a little bit maltol. All right, let's tear that out. Next up is the nicotine. Now today we're using 100 milligram nick suspended in PG. Now at this concentration, it is considered a poison, so make sure you keep it out of reach of children and pets. Also, you don't want to get this stuff on your skin, so at minimum, just wear gloves. But again, I can't tell you what to do in your own home. I just want to practice safe practices and let you know the safe thing to do. All right, so what you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna make sure you shake your nicotine very well, because again, you can get concentrated hot spots and you don't want that. And if it's suspended in VG instead of PG, you wanna shake it even more because it's a lot thicker of a liquid. All right? And we're doing a 30 milliliter batch today. So to get 3 milligrams Nick, we're going to need 0.93 grams. Okay, there we go. Nicotine's in. Today we're doing a max VG blend, so we're going to need 28.63 grams of VG. There we go, the VG's in. Now the reason why I use this little handy dandy beaker right here is so I could use my nice handy dandy liquid barn frother. And that way it mixes it without getting all the hand cramps. Pretty much what you want to do with this is you just mix it up till it gets a lot of bubbles in it. That's all there is to it.
smell this thing. Oh, yeah, guys. This stuff is phenomenal. Good stuff. That's pretty much all you need right there. And there you have it, guys. There's a lemon pound cake. Now, guys, down in the description, please let me know what you think I should do. Do you think for tomorrow I should do a live show to do all my vape meal? Because I, I really do want to, you know, showcase it. I have a lot of great stuff. Or do you think I should do a video and then, you know, chop out some of it? But it's going to be a long video. There's like 60 flavors. Let me know what you think I should do. Also, if you have any suggestions, anything you want me to mix up, anything at all, put it in the comments down below. Now, if you like this video, please put a like on it. And also, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I have a lot more great things coming, a lot of great things planned. And also, we're probably going to have a live show on Wednesday with DIY Vapor. So you want to make sure you stay tuned for that one. And did I miss anything? Nope. I think that's about it. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.